Hey, good afternoon guys, it's Mac here from Cryptstar Staking and today I have a juicy project I want to talk about. This project is grown from grassroots and it has grown into a very, very interesting project and I want to make sure that you all know about it. It is called Flame DeFi. Now, Flame DeFi was started back in May 2021 and they started off as a farming platform. And actually, before I get started on this, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Yoshi Labs and thank you for making this awesome background music. You can go ahead and check out his artist page on Hen. I'll leave the link in the description below. Please check it out. If you like this channel and you want to hear more juicy Tezos videos, please be sure to hit the subscribe and notifications bell below. You can hear all about the new projects and be the first to jump on board. Without more to do, let's get started. So first I'm gonna take you guys to the Flame DeFi Twitter account right now because they have a really awesome campaign running. It is a contest to win Braze, our second space farmer. Now each space farmer made, there's only been two made so far, is actually made by separate artists that are sponsored by Space Farm. They have them make these unique characters that they're gonna sell and later these characters are gonna be used on the Space Farm DeFi play to earn gaming platform which is going to launch sometime after the DEX launches. Now. They have a campaign right now. You can go ahead and retweet and follow these directions to try and earn this new Braze Farmer. It looks like there's not a whole bunch of uh, participants right now. So I just wanted to raise awareness and let you guys know that right now uh, this base farmer has been sold on the secondary market for quite a bit. So you can see it's, it's sold initially for 35 Tez. However, it has been resold for 250 Tez and various other amounts here. Make sure to jump on that. From what I heard from the creators is that you're gonna be able to stake this space farmer for flame or have some other, it's gonna be one of the strongest characters in the game that they're making in the future. One of the biggest reasons for this was because they wanted to go ahead and help out the artists and give the artists more exposure. So please support FlameDAO and their new NFT listing. And next, I want to go ahead and go into their, uh, we already covered their website, so this hasn't changed much since my previous video. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out. They're now going through a flame distribution phase, okay? Quarter three space farm launches. Actually, this is already launched. So quarter three for the Flame Dow Dex. Now, Flame Dow Dex, they recently made an article about it. And this is kind of regarding the current development phases. So. Right now, they're going through the distribution phase. This is a great time to jump on Flame and get some Flame DAO uh, because next year they're gonna, or maybe quarter four this year even, they're gonna implement governance for the Flame DAO and I'm sure there's gonna be lots of little goodies for FDAO holders, okay? So we currently have five native space farms. Um, actually, they have, uh, yeah, they have, five, they have five space farms and I think we've gone through that over here. It's five space farms. Right. Um, there we go. Oh, flame. Okay, sorry. So you can go to the flame. Ooh, the cool noise there. Let's see. There we go. There you go. So you can see all these different ones they have, and they did different partnerships and stuff like that. You can see the APY right here. So according to this article, okay, I'll just give you the juicy details. Uh, the distribution phase is ending here soon. Once their DEX launches a week or two afterwards, the FDAO APR is going to go way down. So it is a good chance to grab that flame right now before it becomes very hard to get. Uh, they want people to focus on providing liquidity. So the liquidity pools will be getting a lot more of the uh, incentives for farming for uh, flame. And the flame incentives on a flame, single flame farm will go down. Okay, so right now they're working on the Flame Dex. Their goal is to be the first uh, AMM with an API to provide token and XTZ pair and uh, token token pairs. So it looks like they're gonna go like a different way from Plenty. Uh, Plenty was going, was actually, they didn't create, uh, they just went from token to token and they didn't use XTZ to the, their main token. Um, so if, if, if they do, a, if, if Flame Dow can do an XTZ to Flame, uh, pair along with a uh, flame to other token pair. I think that would be very good for flame DAO or the, for the space farm and Also if they can be the first ones to have an API that would be awesome as well I do know there are also a couple other projects that are working on that right now now the flame decks will help burn a lot of flame because the, the uh, I'm, I'm guessing uh, that their flame decks is going to use the fees that will actually burn flame in the process so after the Flame Dex is done, the governance to platform Flame Dex launches. So from there, you can use your FDAO tokens to vote on different proposals. 
And from there, they're planning to also build a game. So this this recent F NFT launching, that's going to be included in the game later. So if you want to get the the, the game the game uh, Space Farmer is cheap now, uh, make sure you go ahead and enter that contest and try and win yourself a Space Farmer. Okay, so their their ambition is simple: become the biggest Dex on Tezos. So they, they also they're very really strong believers in Tezos DeFi and that it is the best crypto right now because it is the most economical and environmental friendly uh, crypto uh, con smart contract DeFi uh, blockchain out there. All right, and their catch slogan is be, be ready. It is just the beginning. Will you be a part of Tezos history? Yes, I will. All right, let's go ahead and go uh, to the price charts. So first I want to go to FDAO. Um, FDAO has been around for not super long. Uh, you can see here it came around uh, June 2020 and the price has slowly gone down. Uh, because right now there's no utility for FDAO, uh, I can see the price still going down a little bit more uh, before it settles at around uh, five TEDs is my buy my buy point personally that is looking at the looking at the supply and just kind of comparing it to the supply of some other tokens uh other DAO tokens and also if they decide to release more information on how the flame DAO will be used i think that will be very bullish for flame DAO, and it could increase the, the, the my minimum uh buy price all right let's go to flame flame all right so flame is a very interesting because they did not have a super inflationary uh, model like uh, plenty and some of the other tokens out there I see that the price has actually remained rather stable this whole time people are just accumulating and selling a little bit and as they sell more people buy and it has a, a reasonable amount of volume I mean there is and it's not it's not crazy but there's about 100k on each side um, so that's about, about $180,000 in liquidity total flamed out if they can be the first one to get the API the price of this is probably going to go like, hmm, I could go way back up here to where it was when it first launched. I think it's definitely a good buy right now. As you can see, Plenty has doubled in price as soon as their deck was launched, Dex was launched. And I think the tokenomics of Flame, the deflationary aspects that will be added is going to make it extremely bullish uh, once the Dex is launched. Now let's go ahead and head over to their Space Farmers. This is where you can see uh, current, current sale items, okay? So on this website, nftbiker.com, it's like a different front end for Hen, so you can see what items are for sale. So you can see their full lineup here on Hen, and they have all these uh, these uh, these NFTs, and these ones haven't launched yet. These three, these cool looking weapons. You can see the ones that are for sale right here. Oh, there's no offer right now for these ones. Looks like they haven't actually launched these two either. Anyways, you can buy a space farm if you want, 275 tes and 500 tes. <laughs> a little bit expensive, but I would definitely recommend going in that competition. All right. All right, and that's it for my video today. I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Crip Stars YouTube channel. Peace out. I went from daydreaming to staying woke. I used to be hella loud, now I keep it on the low. I used to fuck with cash, and now I only fuck with crypto.